guys, welcome to our final vlog of the year. Gatsby, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Mm, thank you. Okay, are we ready to talk about everything that's been going on? The first thing I thought we would go over is Gatsby's follow-up trip, his checkup to Davis. This is his two-month checkup after his cancer treatment. My friend Boris flew over from New York City and he came to accompany me for Gatsby's checkup. Are you ready to go? I'm so grateful that Boris is here to accompany us for moral support. It's his first time doing a x-ray for um, to check for cancer. It is going to take us an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> Made it to UC Davis. See, look, Center for Companion Animal Health. Okay. He said it was mostly good news, which is good. But there was some bad news, which is going to have to have us return to Davis a lot sooner than we thought. He didn't want to be in there. He wanted to get out. Yeah. Gatsby eating his food now. Gatsby got his food, and he's going to be groggy a little bit because he was sedated for the x-ray. Thank you, Boris. <laughs> Taking me, no <laughs> being problem. with me. Today we pursued sedated chest x-rays, which revealed no visible onset of metastatic disease. Yay, Gatsby! <laughs> we will continue to monitor for onset of metastatic disease with exams and chest x-rays every three months moving forward. Even though he had a nasal cancer, they don't do x-rays on the nose because um, you can't see anything. They do chest x-rays to make sure that the cancer hasn't spread to his chest area. Gatsby historically has had elevations in his liver enzymes. Today we rechecked a blood chemistry panel which revealed further increases in his liver enzymes. So your liver is used primarily to clean out toxins in your body. Gatsby's levels were actually very high. He's not at up to liver failure because he's not even showing any signs. It could be from some of the supplements that I'm giving him because unlike food, uh, the supplements are not regulated and a lot of times supplements can have like heavy metal and lots of companies don't test for that. They just want me to stop all supplements. A lot of them are to like slow down the cancer if it, you know, comes back. Hopefully it's just the supplements because that would be a very easy fix. In terms of everything else, they said that he's doing very well. He's very bright and very smart, looks very healthy. I was kind of stressed out after hearing that, but um, you know, I heard from a lot of my friends who are like, it's way better, that is way better news than the cancer coming back, or the cancer spreading. That's right. Nah. It's been a while since we've had a vlog. We did have a live stream, but I thought that I would give you guys an update on everything that's been going on. After Thanksgiving, my whole family flew up and we went on another Airbnb trip. This time we went up north to a place called Gualala. This is our first look into the house. Okay, look, the beach is like right there when you enter. You can see it. Nice views. Fireplace, nice dining room table, hot tub outside. Airbnb came with a private beach. If you are going to the beach, look at that. Go to the beach. We really need to just take a lot more moments together, Gatsby. I know Gatsby really enjoyed the trip. Then I got back and my family left, and then that's when my friend Boris flew over from New York. There he is, he's right there, he doesn't see me. <laughs> there he is! Hooray, you made it! How's your flight? Good, good. It's been oh. ages. I know! <laughs> I haven't seen Boris in like, how many years? It's like eight, seven or eight years. <laughs> yeah. Gatsby, look who it is. It's Boris. Do you remember him? He carried you in San Francisco. We lived in the same suite in uh, at Cornell University. And we spent like a few days doing a lot of fun things. I brought him to one of my favorite restaurants in the Bay Area, New England Lobster. Look how much crab meat they give you for the roll. So Boris has never had a Dungeness crab before. So he's gonna try it for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, it tastes like um, like chicken, but like... Chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like. It's, like, it's, not, it's it? not fishy though. No, it's not fishy, yeah. So what do you think, Boris? Very surprisingly filling. Uh, I still think it tastes like mozzarella. I was like, what? I told that to my friends. I think that the texture maybe is like shredded mozzarella, but... It doesn't taste like mozzarella. I'm here with Boris and Gatsby. We're doing our hike. Are there are horses up here? Yep. Oh, what? you gonna catch a ponyta? <laughs> Mm. Apple's campus, it's right over there. Look at that hat that Boris is wearing. Ooh. Yes, we did it! We made it! What did you think, Boris? It's a good walk, yeah. We saw a horse. We did. We are gonna do an aquarium water change. I'm gonna clean the tank. For Black Friday, I got a lot of my aquarium cleaning suppl uh, supplies. Gatsby, hey! We're not doing that. I'm cleaning the aquarium, sir. Okay, so yeah, I got a lot of new supplies for... <laughs> Gatsby, come on. I'm trying to record, sir. He's like, I need to be in it. Okay, so I got a lot of cool new supplies. Hey, Gatsby. Here we go. So as you can see, there is like algae on all of the glass here, and especially in the back. It's like a forest back there. Take off my watch. All right, take the plants off. So this is what I use to clean the inside of the glass. I got new blades for it, so it'll scrape off really nicely. Wow, it's so buttery smooth to scrape this right now. I finished scraping off all the glass. There's like tons of algae in the water. So I'm just taking a little bit of the aquarium water and siphoning it into a bucket. We got all the water out. That's 12 gallons of water right there. Check it out. I got a food grade trash can. This is how the pros do water changes. So over here we have a heater and we have a pump. So it's supposed to mix the water. This is so much easier than the old way where I would just use a target bin. I got a pool pump. This is to drain the pools. It sucks water from the bottom. A new hose that actually reaches this time. And I got a hook so that it hooks over the aquarium so I don't have to hold on to this. Here it goes. Oh. Oh look! Wow, it fills the tank so fast! Ta-da! It's been a few hours. The tank is all clean. The water has cleared out. Look forward to more aquarium stuff coming up. And Boris wanted to go to the gym with me, so I thought that I would just share with you some more gym tips. We did back day. Enjoy! Welcome to back day! Back is one of the muscles I've been focusing on lately. It's very important for correcting your posture, and that's what I thought I would focus on today. When working out your back, focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together and down. This will, in turn, pull your shoulders back and fix your posture. A lot of people have bad posture because they don't have the back muscles developed for support, and I was one of them. Remember, the weights don't need to be heavy. Just focus on that shoulder blade squeeze and you'll notice your posture improve. And that's your gym tip for the week. Uh, a lot of people are like, where do you take um, your friends when they come and visit? I take them to Stanford University. If you go there, it's, it's actually, it's really nice campus and there's a lot to do there. We are at Stanford University. We didn't go here. <laughs> So we were supposed to do our photo shoot here um, for the calendar, which we did. But um, I was gonna do it here where the scaffolding was and it's still being done. You have your um, divinations class. <laughs> they have all these iconic Stanford statues here. I really like this one. <laughs> You're supposed to be like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, we're in the courtyard. I feel like no actual students come here, like, during school time. It looks like all tourists. I know. We're in the Stanford store. <gasps> Ta -da! How much does it cost, Boris? 196 pesos. No, I'm just kidding, American dollars. 196. Mine is a steal. <laughs> 
We have to act like we're students here. I'm having a hard time in Bolivian literature. My underwater basket weaving class is not going <laughs> so well. So this is where we took the shot for the calendar. It's sitting here and crying when you found out you didn't get into Stanford. That was the exact picture I wanted. <laughs> we're in a new world, the Jurassic world. We took Gatsby's T-Rex photo here too. I think it was like right, right over there. And after that, it was time to say goodbye to Boris. We had a really good time. We did a lot of stuff. We caught up a lot. We did an escape room together, which we escaped. We played a lot of video games. He was a really good friend and he really just helped me. I, I told him like when he came, I was like, I'm so glad that you're here. He helped me ship out a lot of the orders that you guys ordered. And yeah, I, would, I just had such a good time. I'm saying bye to Boris. Other than that though, I thought we would open a few presents that you guys sent us. Yeah, Gatsby, I think they're Christmas presents. Let's try opening some gifts here. Karen from Alhambra, California. Let's see what it is. Okay, I'm opening it for you, Gatsby. I don't know. Hey, can you drop? Thank you. I'm trying to open. Hey, hey, we're trying to open. He's like, I'm trying to open it. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gatsby, thank you, thank you. Hey, Gatsby, thank you. Gatsby and Ryan, this is a reversible two coats in one. Look at that. Look at how handsome. Thank you. I have something similar. <laughs> this is from Lynn from Los Altos, California. Look at this, we're opening Christmas presents. Oh, what is this? Gatsby may not be able to go to Hawaii, but that's no reason not to bring Hawaii to him. Enjoy! What did he got? Hawaii fish jerky. Nothing but wild cut Hawaiian ahi. Oh, ahi is tuna for those of you. That's what we call it in Hawaii. Here we go. Well, thank you, Lynn. This is from Danny from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh! This is for me. Sour Patch Kids, my favorite. Ta -da! <laughs> Ready? Go! Alani, Alta Monte Springs, Florida. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Look, Gatsby looks so good. Look at me, look at my hair. Oh, look, there's Sean. <laughs> With night, this is my German Shepherd from Hawaii. Thank you so much, Alani. That's me, that's you. Right there, that's you. <laughs> Thank you, you guys, so much for sending us the mail. Let's get on with the video. We have our 2023 calendar available in the shop. I wanna thank you guys so much for showing so much support for that. I have a YouTube short that I wanted to share with you guys about the behind the scenes of one of the pictures. Here's how we shot the month of May for my Corgi's 2023 calendar. I got the famous photographer Koki Yamaguchi from Tokyo to fly to California to shoot Gatsby's seventh calendar. And here's how we did it. First off, we shot Gatsby. We wanted a jumping shot, so I stuck a selfie stick on the ground. Come on, let's go. Come on. Then it was time to make a mess. And here's the final result. What do you think? Gatsby, should we go and enjoy the Christmas lights? He wants to. Would you like to? Okay, let's go and see the Christmas lights. Are you ready? Gatsby, are you ready? He's like, oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> are we ready to go? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of Lang Syne? For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne, we'll talk a cup of kindness yet for days of old. That was such a nice walk. Yeah, Gatsby. <laughs> oh my gosh, seeing all the Christmas lights, that was so wonderful. Well, that's gonna do it for us for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. That's probably gonna be the last vlog of the year. This year has been 
really like the most challenging year I've ever had. Um, I really hope next year is gonna be just like way better than this year. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting us. My family is gonna be flying up like yet again. We are gonna go to another Airbnb for Christmas. Just keep continuing to make wonderful, wonderful memories together, Gatsby. If you get any Corgi on Fleek merchandise for Christmas, please post a photo with you in the merchandise and tag us hashtag Corgi on Fleek. I wanna see, I wanna see. We wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. We'll see you guys next year. Good night. Mwah. Bring it back, Gatsby! Oh no! Go get it! Bring it back! Good boy! Come on! Gatsby! Oh my gosh! Come on, Gatsby! Bring it back! Oh no! <laughs> Gatsby is gonna go in the ocean! Go get it! Go get it! Save the ball! He's not gonna get it! He's not gonna get it! She's like, I don't want to get it. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! You guys, today, Gatsby's brother Tater Tot is going to be visiting and he brought Gatsby a little gift. <laughs>